Boog, as, as you wait to get back in the booth and call baseball, uh, the, the, the idea that Bob Nightingale talked about in USA Today that we talked about with Booney earlier, three different 10-team divisions, yeah. 100 games, home stadiums. I mean, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. It sounds like it's outside the box thinking. What did you make of it when you read it? I, I'm down with anything that's going to get us baseball. I guess on the surface, my first thought is, if we're going to allow for home stadiums, I don't know why there's a need to realign like that. Just stick in the division and then play interleague central against central. I don't know why it would be necessary to realign. But I, look, I'm in for baseball, whatever they want to do. I think you've got to be open to it. Because cash may rule, but obviously testing is the thing in between, not just for baseball, but for the whole country. You know what I mean? Of course. And, and, and we, I think we all understand that that predicates what, where we go after. Yeah. But I just think that we keep hearing about optimism. And I think, you know, we can laugh about pass and bring it to the Wu-Tang Clan, but it's true. I mean, baseball needs the gate. Yeah. Manfred told me that. Rob Manfred, commissioner of the league, told me that when he was on uh, back in March, that, that like, they, they need the gate. So... They need the gate, but if there's nobody there, I, it's, it's really complex. But as you talk to people in the game, book and you, managers, players, everybody, what's the sense of how much time they would need to get ramped up to actually play the sport? I think it's less than you think. I, guys have been getting themselves in shape. I think you could do two weeks as teams. You know, pitchers have been throwing. I think you can look at radical ideas as well. We've talked about or heard about the possibility of seven-inning doubleheaders. I think you can play seven-inning single games early on. I'm just saying you can um, to take ease some of the burden off some of the pitchers. I, I think there's a number of things that, that can be considered. But I don't think that you need a, a whole lot of time as a team or as much time as you'd think um, before you get it going. It's just a matter of, okay, when's the first game going to be? I think you need kind of a, you know, that marker and then plan from there. There's a lot about this sport that's nostalgic. If you're old enough like me, you grew up with games on the radio, and there's a, you, can, you can romanticize a lot. Fans at the stadium are a significant piece of what makes baseball special. In the absence of them, I wonder how long do you think it'll take, Boog, before people watch games with nobody there and go, you know what, it's something, but I just, I can't, I don't like it. Like, how long do you think that yeah. takes? The gate is huge, by the way. Scotty, consider for a second that last year, baseball made $2 billion, with a B, more dollars than the NBA. Think about that for a second. We can sit there and parse what's more popular, but as a business, that's a lot more money. Um, and to your point, I don't think that people recognize after two weeks of watching games without fans, the players playing without fans, it's going to be rough. If you've ever been to a B game on a backfield at spring training when Mike Trout's leading off every inning, even when he's leading off every inning, it can get a little dull. It's why I do think if the games are going to be without fans, it's got to it's got to be a little spicier. Yeah, and that's, I mean, I, I give everyone who's throwing ideas onto the table credit because sure. we're going to land someplace odd. I think everyone grasps yeah. that. And if we do, and we get baseball, and somebody in the end of it wins, how should history view whoever that is? They're the champs. They get the trophy. I, I make this point all the time. Barry Bonds hit the most homers. Uh -huh. That's what happened. And then the next sentence begins, yeah, but think about dot, dot, dot. We'll never mention the 2017 Astros without mentioning banging of trash cans. We don't need to take the trophy away because there's too many other things you'd need to litigate to do that fairly. What other teams are doing what, et cetera. The team that wins the final game in 2020 will be your champion, and no one will ever forget that this season will be different. No, they certainly won't. Or, or our lives. I mean, this is a this is yeah. this is a mark on the wall that I don't care if you're a little kid or you're in your middle age or you're elderly. This is obviously something that's going to frame our existence. Yeah. I just ask you, as the guy who makes his living sitting in the booth calling games, when do you think you're going to be back there doing it? Like, as you not not hope. Like you you when you mull it over, you think, man, I bet I I think I'll be back there by what? What do you got for me? I would say I think I'll be back mid to end of July. All right.
I looked at it like, the, you know, they say no I later. Him. I No, I, of course. I'm just, I'm just, I, and that's yeah. all I'm doing here is just having a conversation with my friend. Yeah, man. Because, like, I, I can see July the 4th, the whole idea. It gives us a couple of months. It's America's game. It's the 4th of July. You, you know, we got to be hopeful about something. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what day of the week that is or what where that would fall for you. I just... I, I'm just selfish. I want to listen to you call baseball games, man. So you, you and you got an obligation. Like when you're, there, like you know what I mean. Like think of what your yes. role is. Like, think of what Absolutely. your role will be, and 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 how how do you how do you frame that, Boog? I, look, I mean, if I get the opportunity, I will love it. I'll relish it. I know that if I were on the other end of it, it would be super important to me, and I'd honor it. Um, and you know how much I love it. So all of those things, I just want. It to be safe for everybody, players, coaches, media, fans alike, and then we get ourselves some baseball. But yeah, I'm dying to do it, man. Of course, of course. But you know, I mean, we it's it's funny. We're sitting here and we joke about making this up every night, but people at home tell us that they, you yeah. know, y you feel like it's an obligation to be, you know, keep a light on for people and keep keep hope alive, as they say. So Big stay time. safe, stay well, and uh, let's hope sometime. Before it's too long down the road, you're calling games, Boog. Be good, all right? Good to see you, brother. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.